If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Um, I just want to just let people know that, you know, when it comes to social media, uh, Sharon is not Karen. Um, everybody don't need to specifically know what it is that you do or are into or how it is that you decide to, I guess, do a variety of things in your house. Um, because, you know, the moment of time that you do, you will end up becoming uh, content. Just just to let you know, FY, FY. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I would address this because I thought it was funny, but yes, I did clean and have deep cleaners come. However, it's like back to where it was, so I'll show you guys. So this is it. You know, I just don't know what's going on and why I don't clean. Like last night I made dinner, but we're having some trouble. Okay, and this is like my spot, like, <laughs> like a hotel, you know, when you drop it outside your room and you let them come pick it up, but no one comes and picks it up for me, so it just sits there. Um, I have some laundry to do. It's all clean. All clean, folks. I don't have bed bugs or anything. Uh, my derm just told me it was like dry skin and stuff. So we're all good there. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to do some cleaning tonight. Guys, I don't know how this happened. Okay, but Indy's room's not that bad. I mean, see, we kind of have things in control. Go, Indy. Before you guys come at me, a really good episode of White Lotus was on last night, so I had to watch it, and then I got tired and went to bed. So I'll clean it later today. Okay, we're gonna do a little outfit of the day. So we'll start off with this one piece. It's from Amazon, and then I got my docs. This is from Zara. Something like that. We're gonna go get coffee. We're gonna pick up my daughter from school. Okay, I'm not really sure what this video was, but it was random, kind of what's like going on behind the scenes. So if you like it, let me know and I will do more. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Now, when I looked up this person's social media, I found out that I guess they're in a relationship or potentially married. And as you can clearly see in the background, you know, they have a child. And then as I kept going further, I kept seeing like a whole bunch of women in the group. And um, as I ended up finding out through a variety of videos that they have on their own platform, that they are in a large relationship, right? They like to share their swingers, right? So I'm taking it that all of those women that were specifically in quite a bit of those videos smiling with her were not just friends. They were also people that both parties... Um, end up spending, you know, quality time with. And um, I'm, I'm just, you know, this just goes to show in a sense that whenever you happen to see your neighbors and the whole outside of the house looks immaculate, it looks beautiful, it looks well kept, it's to the nine, usually the inside of the house does not match the outside. And the other thing I want to also make very clear to people is that more than likely, if this is how <laughs> the inside of the house looks just imagine what the normal everyday cleaning or bathing situation is just imagine what the cooking situation is do you happen to wash your meat do you season your meat do you wash your hands before you use meats do you use gloves when you decide to touch a variety of things like seafood chicken beef and you know do you happen to practice cross contamination such as touching any of those raw items and deciding to you know touch you know the inside of the refrigerator any items in the refrigerator uh touching on other items that you're going to end up reusing such as slicing you know some cheese and repackaging it and putting it right back into you know the refrigerator Right. Even though you just, you know, clearly touched raw chicken. Right. Are you touching anything else like the countertops and spreading all of this all over the place? Like I said, I have a variety, a variety, a variety, a variety and a multitude of questions. But I already know what those answers are. Like I said, this is not my first time 
covering things like this before. And just in case, you know, people might know who this person is and want to try to, I guess, body block. Already know for, you know, some of the information that was listed, went through some type of a miscarriage and all of those things that basically come through it. I, I, I get it. I understand it. That's cool. That still does not give an excuse as to why this house looks the way that it does. It doesn't because you're not going to tell me you're not because because this is this is <laughs> I got to get myself straight. <laughs> you're not going to sit up here and tell me that this woman is suffering and going through this, this, that and the third. Like I said, I'm not saying that she's not. Not saying that she's not, but you're not going to say that she's going through this so much that the house is in a full on disarray. You understand that. But yet at the same time, you're looking at a person that put on makeup, lipstick, eyeliner. She got her eyebrows to the nine. She got her hair fully straightened. She made sure that the clothes, the, the black clothes that she put on does not have any type of uh, um lint or anything like that on there and then she put on a brand new jacket and all this all of the stuff that she's wearing is clean she in a sense presentation wise she looks pretty normal but that house so like i said before this is why i can't jump on a bandwagon whenever people are sitting up or saying like oh you know people do suffer and go through things and then when you point stuff out like that well it's like you know uh people go through it in spurts you know it happens in moments you know one moment you're this and then the next moment is that it, it doesn't encompass the whole thing it doesn't encompass like i said a lot of people like to make a lot of excuses for a lot of different things because they want to see themselves directly in a person they picture or imagine themselves as that person because they want to be that person. They want to have that notoriety. They want to have all of those achievements, all of those trophies. They want to have all of those likes and all of that love on social media and all and everything else that basically comes with it. Right. So this is why you have a lot of people that will body block for a woman like this because they want to be her. They imagine themselves as this woman, no matter how wrong this situation is because like i said before she had to come out and basically state no don't worry we you know we don't got bed bugs or anything like why would you have to state that why are you even saying that on social media why are you even bringing that up as a topic for this video knowing the fact that your house is in a disarray like the way her house looks i've seen stuff like this on hoarders and this is not even a hoarding situation but the way that this looks is ridiculous and to in a sense raise a child in this type of living situation is ridiculous. It is a thousand percent ridiculous. But like I said, when you got the complexion for the protection, nothing, no uh, weapon formed against you shall prosper. <laughs> That's pretty much how that works. That's pretty much what you're able to see and witness, um, you know, at this moment in time. Like I said, yo, for, for the true Americans out there, yo, this is y'all. This, this is, this is y'all. Like I said, I didn't see a lot of instances. I didn't see some living situations throughout my lifetime. A lot of this is y'all. Y'all just don't want to be honest about it. Just do not want to be honest about what specifically takes place in your home. And especially a lot of y'all in the suburbs, y'all just like this. This is the way that y'all live on an everyday basis. Y'all, y'all, like I said, y'all got two, two parents in the house. And a house still look like this? That's crazy. That's a thousand percent crazy. Like I said, I don't know what the boyfriend or the husband does, but it, it'd be no way in the world, no matter how tired I am, I'm going to be trying to clean something in there because that looks ridiculous. Like literally, if this is what I'm talking about, this is the, the problem with a lot of modern women today. A lot of modern women talk about that you know, oh, I'm honored, I'm independent, I'm this, I'm that, but yet they want a traditional lifestyle. They want to be tr treated and respected and valued like a traditional woman while still being modern. That's not how that works. You're not going to try to be a part of two different eras and, you know, basically benefit. That's not how that works. You got to select one. If you're modern, then you're independent. You can do everything on your own. You're Superman, right? If you're traditional, that means like, yo, you're going to be a helpmate. That means that you're going to, you know, be taking care of the home or the kids, different things of that nature. And the guy takes care of everything that is outside of the house. That's usually 
how that works. It's like a symbiotic type of relationship. One person has one job. The other person has, you know, a job. Like I said, everybody has their focus. But at this moment in time, people don't have no focus. You have a lot of women out here that feel like, hey, I'm just about to be a jack of all trades. I'm about to just be able to do everything. No problem. So if that's going to be the case, I expect you to be able to fix everything. But then when you tell a woman that, they're like, no, 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 no. That's your job. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like I said, yo, for a lot of guys out here, you have to be very critical at the type of woman that you decide that you want to be with, that you want to marry. You better make sure, like, however, her apartment, make sure you come over to her apartment. See how she actually cleans. And I'm talking about past the honeymoon stage, right? When when everybody's trying to be to the nine and not trying to show their faults. I'm talking about when she's relaxed, when she's in her normal mode, and you basically start coming over to her place. It's going to be a difference between when y'all first met versus comfortable. Comfortable first met first met comfortable it's going to be a difference like i said you want to make it to that point where you can see how that person is going to be comfortable because that comfortable person that's going to be the woman that you're going to have and get for the rest of your life that woman that you first met she's only going to be there for a short amount of time she's only going to be there so that she can get to the point of being in a relationship and you know uh uh, uh for you to produce that ring other than that you're going to get to comfortable And it's amazing to me that a lot of men don't know this. It's amazing to me that a lot of young men don't know this. Like I said, there is clear cut a difference. And I'm just going to say that this video is clear cut showing you that example of what comfortable looks like.